The Kruger National Park has many archaeological sites. In this video we will visit one of them called Mazurini. Mazurini is about 11 kilometers from Palabowa Gate. It is a lovely stopover with toilets and you can go on a guided tour with a very knowledgeable guide. In order to understand the history of this place one has to understand a little bit about the relatively recent Southern African history. The original people of Southern Africa were the Khoi and the San. There are numerous San paintings for example in the Kruger National Park and from historical accounts we know that the Central African tribes of what was known to be Bantu people did not come here until not that long ago. The Zulu nation is in fact just over 200 years old. As a result of many tribal wars, a lot of people started to push down further south during the 1700s. This southern movement of people were known as the Mefakani, Tifakwani or Lifakani. So whilst a lot of the tribes were going south, it is interesting that a tribe, the Bapalaborva tribe, came back north. Ancestors of the Sutu speaking Bapalabuwa people settled here in what appears to be the mid 1800s. These people specialized in melting iron. Bapalabuwa means to come from the south or coming from the south or it is better than the south. Some people might tell you that these people felt it was too cold further down south but historical studies indicate the survivors of this group actually had clashes with the Zulu nation and fled back up north to this part of the world where they settled. There were mainly three reasons why this turned out to be a favorable site. It had iron, there were also silver clustered trees growing in the area. This is by the way a tree that produces an extremely hot fire. And they had a view around the area and could also see the famous Shikumbu hill where the tribe leader was believed to reside. When you decide to go on a short guided tour, you will meet your guide and then start by visiting the little museum where some artifacts are on display. We decided not to film the guide as we did not want to spoil people's visit to the site so please do come and visit it yourself if you ever have the opportunity and of course if you are indeed interested. The guide has information that we might not share with you and we have information that the guide might not share with you and I believe it's really important for people that are interested in archaeological sites to come and listen to the guide and get both perspectives. Archaeologists with the help of sand parks restored some of this little village to some of its former glory. They found some stone walls but the huts were all newly built, however the furnaces were all original. Information passed on from generations indicate that the women were never allowed close to the melters as the tribe were worried that their secrets will be lost if the enemy defeat the men and capture their women. Another interesting find was that the higher a person's social standing was, the higher he lived up the terrace. For more interesting videos like this please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.